they were thinking about retiring. They don't have to worry about that anymore. But one of the ways that you cut the budget is you cut $10, million, $10 trillion from mandatory spending. But one of the ways you get there is raising the eligibility age for Social Security and Medicare. 69, I think, is the target date. So you want Morning, to folks. Tonight we're going to draw a Pexion from... Bakugan Gun Daily and Invaders. Basically, Pexion basically is the most popular Super Assault Bakugan from the Season 3 Gun Daily and Invaders series. And, well, this is my first time drawing this character. And, well, I did draw this character before, but I didn't exactly have the footage on it. Accidentally got it deleted. Same goes with Tricloid. Don't worry. I'll get that fixed as soon as possible. Now we draw this. Here's a Pepsi on the clause. Right, it's the height of, of, of hypocrisy. These Democrats are so hyper focused on January 6th with their sham committee. Yet it's their own rhetoric that's inciting people to show up and protest the Supreme Court justices' homes to try to try to persuade them or change a pending Supreme Court decision. So the Department of Justice hasn't taken this seriously enough. It's illegal to do this, to go to, to a Supreme Court justice's home and try to pressure them into changing their decision or to make a decision one way or another. And it just goes to show that there's a one-sided uh, uh, justice system with the Biden uh, Department of Justice where they're quick to go after parents who show up at school board meetings, but they drag their feet about Supreme Court justices or the 40 violent attacks on crisis pregnancy centers around the country as well. It just, it just goes to show you those two sets of rules. Let me, if I could just ask you one, one more question about the midterm elections. And, and how candidates should handle President Trump and his influence. There's a new book called This Will Not Pass by Jonathan Martin and Alex Enderberg. It suggests there we that go. Carl Rove wrote a very critical piece in the Wall Street Journal about President Trump's CPAC speech in 2021. But you sent Carl Rove a, a text message of support saying, you're a voice of reason about this. I agree with some of the things you said. At the same time, you were praising President Trump. So when we look at what happened in South Carolina between Nancy Mason and Tom Ryan, what is the best way to deal with President Trump when it comes to these midterm elections? Is it using the MACE uh, model where you can disagree with the President, you can be critical of him, but at the same time... And finish. That's how you draw a Pexion. For President Trump, very For real this time. Like mine. And, and, and in Northeast Indiana, popular in, in Republican districts all over the country, and, and 